Hello everyone, the latest version of Kali is quickly becoming my favorite, okay? And what I'll do, I am going to install a Terraform in this Kali machine. And what I'll do, I, my real goal is to just uh, work with Docker provider and use Terraform to learn and show you guys a lot of different things that Terra can, Terraform can do for you, okay? And learning this docker and terraform is going to be very critical in your security journey because you can quickly spin up say metasploitable you have a quick terraform to be run you have a metasploitable software available to you uh, it's going to be very quick and easy so let's see how we can install terraform so for that we'll just go to our web page and just search for terraform download and let's see if we can actually go to that web page. It looks like I need to fix my network. Just give me one second. All right, let's try it again. So do Terraform. Uh, what is it that we need? Download. And if you are, uh, what happened? Um, in Google, let's just go to Google. Yeah. Terraform download and it should take us to the official HashiCorp uh, website and this site automatically detects that we are in a Linux system and it's going to give me a whole bunch of different ways to do this because okay, so this is a Debian system so it's telling me you can do that uh, we can also do we can download the 64-bit version of it so if you can copy this and maybe go back to this and Let's see where are we we are here let's just go to the downloads okay and do ls and uh, let's get uh, this to do a wk and that particular clipboard yeah so run this so we we, we got this zip file if i do a ls in here i have this uh terraform 1.1.9 Linux version now available. Now let's see if I can run a simple unzip command on this. And now if I do ls, uh, what happens? This Terraform folder is now created. Now that's probably you are done with the 90% of it. Okay, with just this uh, this bit of code, ls. Okay, C D T E R R A. Oh, that's that's actually executable file. Uh, let's see dot slash terraform. There you go. So now your terraform. Okay, so if I do again terraform, then that's this version, and uh, you know it's saying hey, your terraform is version one point one point nine on Linux, but with the the problem with this one that we have if I go uh, to uh, say out outside that directory so we were in downloads now we are at home if I try to run terraform from here okay it doesn't know what are, what are we talking about so a good practice to either add that path to your path name or just send it to one of the standard uh, uh, locations in Linux where you, where path will automatically look at okay so let's just go back to downloads one more time cd where was it okay so i still have the terraform in here what i'll do i'll do a sudo move this terraform guy to i'll say user and then bin so this would be one of the directories that uh, path automatically looks at i'm going to run and move it there provide my sudo password and if i do ls here you should not see this anymore okay this is gone the terraform is now gone and it should be placed within our user uh, bin directories so if i go user bin and maybe grab for uh, we probably have to do lsl okay do lsl and then uh, in that list you grab for terraform and there you go so the terraform is now moved under this particular directory since it's there if i run terraform now 
it should be available in my path and that, there we go it is and i can do anything i want and one last time let me clear my screen if i do terraform and then uh say this this version again there we go we have everything that we need to get started with terraform in kali remax isn't that beautiful all right so that's about it and uh, just follow it get your terraform installed in kali and we'll get started with some uh, Docker commands as soon as I get some time. Thank you.